week we had. And this weekend we come together in perfect harmony with the joy of the Lord in us, thanking Him that we are here together as one, giving Him praise, glory, and honor. And let's open our Bible to Psalms again. Psalms again. It's the flow of the Holy Spirit. It's so overwhelming. That the message of, uh, of Brother Harry is also connected with it. Psalm 62. Amen. All right. Psalm 62. And we're going to read from verses 1 to 8. But the main verses that we're going to have for today is verses 5 to 8. But we're going to start with verse uh, 1. Psalm 62. This is the song of David. Very powerful very encouraging and this particular verses made real to us two weeks ago and i know that you have experienced also the real encounter with god one way or another and we praise the lord for your glory and the atmosphere lord of joy in this place let's start reading with this uh, verse one my soul find rest in God alone. My salvation comes from Him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. How long will you assault a man when all of you threw him down? This living wall is totally fence. They fully intend to topple him from his lofty place. They take delight in lies. With their mouths they bless, but their hearts they curse. And the main verses that we have this morning. Find rest, O my soul, in God alone. My hope comes from Him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. My salvation and my honor depend on God. He is my mighty rock and my refuge. And verse 8, trust in him at all times of people in the community Christian church. Amen. Pour out your hearts to him, for God is our refuge. Like, thank you, Lord, for that. Bless the name of Jesus. Wow. David was saying in here, he, you could see in here that David was in distress. The enemies were after him. And there were many commentaries that said that this was the time that Absalom was in rebellion against him. His son Absalom wanted to, to get the throne. And it's also the time that he will be going out of, of Jerusalem. Well, instead of murmuring, worrying, instead of doing things on his own hand, he was a king. <coughs> And he has the power of a king. But you know what? He chose to run to God. He chose to seek God. That's why, and, and, and these verses in here, actually, he, the, these verses are so beautiful. He expressed his genuine trust and lean on God. And that's why we are being encouraged from <coughs> these verses in Psalm 62 that we have to choose to trust and rest in God alone. In God alone. We have so many ways to deal with the issues of our lives. But God and in His presence and the empowerment of His Spirit, Amen. there is victory. Amen. In God and in His presence, there is peace. And in God in His presence, there is joy. And in God in His presence, there is life. That's the beauty of being in the presence of God. And David knows it well. You know why? Because he's even after God's heart. Why? He knows his God well. And it is also an encouragement to each of us that we are going also to know our God well. How? Spending time with Him, living in Him, sharing Him, and always in this time of distress, run to Him, come to His presence, and He will give you the perfect peace and the real victory and the real encounter that you will have will be a testimony of how good, of how real our God is. Amen. This is the same God that this church are believing. This is the same God that this church are putting up high, lifting up high in His name together as a church. This is the same God, Jesus, the Holy One, the Mighty One of Israel, the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, from everlasting to everlasting, and our hearts will be rejoicing today as a church, not just on Sunday, but every time that we spend our time with Him, let 
us rejoice in him and let him to be the Lord and the God of our lives. And you will see the power of God working. You will see that life in you is shining through your face because the living God lives in you. The risen Christ is in you, empowering you to move higher, to walk in victory and power. That is the kind of God that this community Christian church has. Amen. And we have to do right, and we have to rejoice in him right now. Hallelujah to the name of Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Glory, glory and honor to you, Lord Jesus. And it is my prayer, Lord, to you today. Let the spirit of the living God dwell in us right now. Let the joy of the Lord be so overflowing that it will be in our lips and in our hearts. So open wide. And the fresh anointing right now of joy is moving in this midst. The glory of God is in this midst. And I pray, O oh Lord, that you will be real in each of us all day of our lives. And I praise your most holy name. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Let us all stand. Let us give glory. Let us all sing to our God.